The Army is a globally responsive force ready to deploy at a moment's notice. This Emergency Deployment Readiness Exercise, or EDRI, validates our ability to rapidly deploy anywhere around the world. Challenging training events like this emergency deployment readiness exercise strengthens unit cohesion and allows us to develop agile, adaptive leaders of character. Our actions as, as the Infantry Task Force assigned to Task Force 110 is to close with and destroy the enemy and then provide a, a security buffer so that Task Force 110 can complete their mission. Alright, good afternoon Iron Dragons. Whoa. How's everybody doing? Whoa. All right, outstanding. Hey, um, some of the things I'm saying are a little redundant, but we're saying them because they're important. There are three things I ask that everybody focus on. Number one is what? Safety. Number two is what? Discipline. And the third one is unity of effort. Ensure that you're safe throughout your operations. We're pushing 51 vehicles on a tactical convoy from here to our objective. We executed our SOI at Fort Knox, Kentucky, where the 110th Chemical Battalion stood up Task Force 110 and initiated a five-day training plan that focused on combined arms countering weapons of mass destruction and seaburn defense operations. I mean, the first big thing was equipment movement uh, and preparations for that. That's the, really the big piece. Um, and once we get the equipment out, then it's uh, a lot of the medical um, requirements for folks just to make sure they get through that soldier readiness processing center. Those were the two big rocks that we had to deal with. The combined force executed SSE of a chemical warfare agent ammunition storage and filling facility in Crestwood subterranean facility. All missions required full integration of rifle company and Seaburnie enablers to neutralize threats and secure terrain. Operations included an assault on an objective in order to execute sensitive site exploitation of state-sponsored nerve and blister production labs. Soldiers learn, um, they're building, they're growing, they're getting better, which is what it's about. The injury was long, it was grueling, but we came, did what we had to do, and we left. They, they don't get to do a lot of this kind of stuff in these really incredible world-class targets like this, so right. they are just out of their minds excited. They were a little nervous going into this one once they found out how intense it was going to be, right. but um, I think they're doing exactly what they need to be doing. They're moving fast. I'm impressed with how fast it was, so I'm stoked. <laughs> 